In this lesson, I want to talk about how do we create a class for our session. But now, let's go back to php.net and then go to the documentation and look for this session set save handler. So in PHP 4 and PHP 5, session save a set save handler sets the user level session storage functions. And if you look at the description, prior to PHP 5.4, session save uh, set save handler would accept few arguments such as open, close, read, write, destroy, and garbage collection or GC. And then another optional argument used for create ID or session ID. But now, since PHP 5.4, it is possible to register the following prototype, only accepting one, one argument, one compulsory argument, and then one optional argument. Session handler interface, which I'm going to look at it in a moment. And then we have a boolean, register shutdown, true. Always you're going to use this true. So if you read this, it says um, session set safe handler sets the user level session storage function, which are used for storing and retrieving data associated with, the, with a session. This is most useful when a storage method other than those supplied by PHP session is preferred. Example, storing uh, the date, uh, session data in a local database. So that's why we are using this, because we are storing a session data in a local database and we're using this function. So now, if, we are, if I uh, have a look at this in a different uh, tab, you can see that the session handler interface class, so we have our class definition here, uh, which all of them are abstract parameters. So we have abstract, public, boolean, close, destroy, GC, open, read, and write. You don't need to set any of them, but you need to set their arguments, and that's why we're using the class which I'm uh, about to show you. So if I scroll down, there are some examples. It's showing you how to use that. But the only thing you need to remember, session handler interface, it's just an PHP interface class. And uh, all of them are ex uh, abstract. So how are we going to use them? If, I, if you open up the exercise file and then uh, video number 10, drag it to your sublime text and open up this MySQL session handler. This is the file um, uh, I went to GitHub and downloaded with the PHP session handler at PHP, and I modified this. Uh, this is created with uh, Fabian. It is a, under MIT license, and then you can use this. I'm, I'm going to modify this, and you can actually modify it by yourself and use it in your system or whatever you're using. But uh, this is... Uh, based on PHP session handler in the Symfony HTTP foundation com uh, uh, component. So that's why we're going to use it. So let's just collapse this comment and then you can see that we have a namespace. This is because I'm going to have a parse click folder and then inside the parse click folder we're going to have a session sessions folder and then inside the, these folders which I'm going to watch which I'm going to uh, just create them. And then we're going to paste this class inside this parse click session folder. So the first thing you realize, uh, you, can, you can see that we have a namespace because I don't want to uh, confuse with other folders or any other codes. And then these, the, the good thing is if these are commanded out. You can go ahead and have a look. So the class MySQL class uh, session handler implements session handler interface. Uh, so it is implementing this interface. The one we're having in our, uh, the, you know, PHP. So we have our protected DB user transactions expiry, and then we have three, a few more protected table, uh, protected uh, attributes. So you can use. So you can go ahead and change this to private. But I made it protected because I wanted to, I wanted you to, if you ever inherited any other classes under this, you could go ahead and change this. So the tables uh, table says is going to be the sessions, the table we created. So this is what you need to change for the table you created. So I created those tables in a previous video. And then you know that the table name is now set called sessions. We have protected call SID. So that whatever the session, uh, whatever you're storing the session ID 
uh, you're gonna mention it right here we call this SID you probably have ID or whatever uh, anything else you want and then we have call expiry we have expiry column and then data these are the things you want you need to change now right now to, uh, in order to change this so we have unlock statement which is equal to empty array and uh, collect garbage equals to fast right now we're going to change this and implement this in the, in the upcoming videos so if you look at the constructor you can see they have pdo db user transactions equals true and then we have uh, this db equals to db so we're having this attribute assigned to our database attribute this is what we've done when we re when we were uh, connected to the database in order to uh, uh, in case if you forgot that you can uh, you know use this right here uh, you don't need to mention all of those uh, you know errors in your con database connection but I use them in, in both places it's not gonna uh, slow down your uh, you know it's, it's slow down the process but it's go ahead to mention in each if you want then we have our user transaction to uh, user transactions in order to use the transaction so user transactions refers to uh, right here protected user transactions so if you have a look at the command uh, it says bool or boolean deter determines whether to use transactions so we're using a transaction that's why we set this to this and then the expiry we get the current time and concatenate it or add it the uh, session GC max lifetime so any get is gonna get, uh, get the configuration any set is going to set the configuration so these are the things you need to remember and after that you have open read write close and destroy and GC we're gonna fill them one by one but now if you want to go ahead and follow me you what you need to do just create another folder called parse click with the capital P and inside parse click you need to uh, open this then create another folder called sessions capital S and plural open this up and then maybe hold down alt and then copy this right here now we're gonna go ahead and start from here but now uh, from the next video you have all of those files available in both places uh, for the video so let's go ahead and, and modify our classes